Hello and welcome to Captain Appetizer's Minecraft. In this channel we focus on all things Minecraft. Hello everybody and welcome to my survival let's play. This I'm going to be doing solo, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, unfortunately, I lost all the footage for when I originally started, so just opening my inventory to show you what I've done. I've collected some wood, I've collected pumpkins, got some melon seeds, some wheat seeds, a uh, random egg, don't need that. Uh, a stone cutter, which is nice, a bed, and a full set of leather armor. Okay. So I've decided that I'm probably going to set up in this area as it is the closest thing to a plains biome. In fact, uh, biome, 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 biome. I really wish I knew how to read this thing. Uh, whatever thing to a plains biome that I'm going to have, so let's uh, do myself a favor, use this sword to cut through the leaves quickly, and then use this axe to cut down this tree, because you never can have enough wood. I emphasize this multiple times, you can never have enough wood. You may think you have enough wood, and then you'll end up burning it very quickly. here it looks like we've got some more pumpkins which is always nice and I start a pumpkin farm so that way we can trade with villagers there's actually a village off that way not too far from here which I believe there were a couple farmers I don't know I didn't really pay attention to what villagers were there I know there's a leather worker that's not it um, Actually, looks like we've got ourselves a decent forest. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so yeah, I think this will probably do for a certain area. So, the first thing we're going to do is probably build a small little house. Okay, so we got ourselves a basic box. This is concerning. I'm out of wood. Okay. Oh, and it's almost night. Nice, so. Respawn success. Let's quickly. Ooh, cool. I would like to forewarn you guys, I am a little bit ADHD, so if I see things, just expect that. Ooh, that thing. And me to go and usually harvest it. There's a lot of ooh trees, ooh coal, ooh what's that? Ooh shipwreck, you know those kinds of things. All right, sleep through the night real quick so that way we don't have to deal with any mobs as we're finishing up the uh, last bit of our. And there we go, sleep. Okay, I'm gonna put this here so that way I don't have to worry about taking that back up later. And there we go. And we now have a permanent place for our crafting table. With that, gonna make some doors and voila, home sweet home. And I can use some of these to make myself two chests that if you place next to each other make a double so now i can offload a bunch of this crap that i don't need so yeah let's actually put the stone cutter down there i want to make sure i keep that on me
Okay, big thing with playing Minecraft is you want to try to keep your inventory nice and organized, keep stuff in the same place. You'll notice I have my pick, my shovel, my axe, my sword. I will almost always have all of my stuff in that order. And if I don't, it's usually because I died and I haven't had a chance to fix it. So next we're going to harvest some stone, get some more tools, go into a cave, get some iron, and go from there. So let's start off just by breaking a few pieces of this stone. Cobblestone. Sorry if that clicking is a little annoying. My, I've got a nice mechanical keyboard that very responsive, but isn't very forgiving when recording. And it looks like we found ourselves a little bit of a cave here. At least there's more coal, so that's always something nice. Grab some more of that. Oh, looks like we got ourselves a creeper. Ah, Mr. Creeper, you stand no chance for me. I have a sword. And I have armor. So what I'm doing here is I'm sprinting at the creeper, hitting it, producing knockback which pushes it back just far enough to where it won't explode. So you notice as I'm going through the cave, I'm placing my torches on the right hand side. That's the opposite of how most Minecrafters do it. But as long as you remember which side you place your torches on, it really doesn't matter if you do your left or your right. I do my right, so that way as I'm leaving the cave, I know that I've left the cave if my torches are on the left side. Where a lot of people go and they put their torches on the left, so that way as they're leaving the cave, their torches are on the right side. You'll notice that a lot of YouTubers and a lot of Minecrafters in general have a very similar mindset of things. I just do things a little backwards sometimes, but that's okay. Now to go finish our block of wood, I, I mean house, um, and then I will uh, get back to you. As you can see, most of my tools are running a little low, so I'm going to go and make myself some more, starting with another sword. Use that, and, and, and another pickaxe. And I'm going to make more sticks. And yeah, that should be good for now. My shovel won't get used quite as much as the rest of my tools. Okay, looks like I found myself another cave here. Hopefully I can find some iron. Uh, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. But I at least got another piece of coal, so that's always nice. Uh, you'll notice that I'm avoiding the copper. That's just because there's not very many crafting recipes that copper uses, and I don't really have a use for the lightning rods. Um, and until I find an amethyst geode, I can't make myself a spyglass. So again, no use for copper. Spider you spider, you faded me into an ambush guy. Oh, hey, I got two strength. That's enough to get a fishing rod. So, one of my goals for today is done, and I found iron. 
Okay, now I have got myself some iron, not quite enough to make a full set of tools and armor, but I can at least get myself a set of tools, which means that tomorrow I can set out and work on getting myself some better equipment. Okay, so off camera I did a little bit of crafting, got myself some basic tools, and I went and got myself an iron chest plate. By the end of this episode, I'll have a full set of iron armor and maybe, if I'm lucky, my first diamond. Waiting on this last piece of steak to cook, and then I am off to go find myself another cave. Oh, there we go. And now to go find myself another cave, get myself some more iron, and hopefully, like I said, maybe we'll find our first diamond. I'd like to find my first diamond this episode, but at the same point, that's just being hopeful. And so I found myself in a cave. Oh, look, a creeper. Isn't that exciting? Oh, and that nearly killed me. I'm hoping this cave will have enough iron. To, oh, speaking of which, iron. Hoping this cave will have enough iron to get me what I need as far as finishing up my suit armor. And again, like I said, it would be really nice to find some diamonds in this episode. Looks like we got a zombie down there. And a creeper. And would you look at that? We found ourselves our first diamond. Looks like it might just be one diamond. Nope, looks like we have two, three. Have enough to get ourselves a diamond pick. And whoever said you couldn't dream big. Also got some redstone, that's nice. Now let's hurry up eat and recover some hearts real quick before I run around and get myself killed by that creeper over there or the zombie or uh, anything else that may come to just destroy my first episode. Thankfully I'm not playing hardcore, so if I die it's just a minor inconvenience, but still, the fact that we found diamonds makes me want to survive. And look here, we found ourselves another diamond. Make sure to dig out all around it, make sure that there's not more just tucked away, and looks like it's just one. But that's okay. If we can get ourselves one more diamond, that'll be all that we need to get ourselves a diamond pick and our 
first enchantment table. Wouldn't that be great for the first episode? And again, another diamond here. Make that two. And over here, I see another one of those shiny blue rocks. I'm gonna put a couple more torches up here. Light up the area just so that way nothing sneaks up on me. Make me some more torches. And looks like it's just another one diamond this time, but that is perfectly fine. We have enough for what we need, and now we have enough for a couple more things. That's seven diamonds is enough to make myself a sword, a pickaxe, and to get myself... Oh, hey, look, another diamond. Almost missed this one. And, of course, dig around and make sure that it's not any more tucked away. like we've got ourselves some glowberries, so we have found ourselves in a lush cave. This is going to be really good for iron. And, oh, hey, look, another diamond. Looks like we got ourselves a party. like this lush cave is a lot smaller than I thought it would be, which is okay. I think it's about time that I head back up to the... Oh, wait, let me grab that iron real quick, and then we'll be headed back up to the surface because I've got to find my way back to home so that way I can reap the rewards of my labor. Okay, so I have made it back. And now I have these diamonds that I'm going to use. So let's quickly make myself some sticks and make myself first a pick. Get myself a sword. Shovel and these last three diamonds, I can either make myself an ax or I can go ahead and save them so that way I can make the chanting table. I'm probably going to save them as I'm doing okay on wood right now. Uh, as you can see, I got some redstone. I found some cocoa beans on the way, the jungle saplings, some jungle logs, and some other stuff that I don't really need. And with that, I think that t this episode is just about finished. We've gotten ourselves a decent amount of weight. There's one last thing I wanted to do. I wanted to smelt some iron, finish my armor before 
because that was my goal for this episode. I have seven ingots left and an anvil. So I'm probably going to use those ingots to make myself a blast furnace in the following episode. But as of right now, this is goodbye for today. Thank you. And see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next one.